Hi, I'm Dio Ramirez. I'm here at Trevor Horn Sound Studios in London. Welcome to our Denon DJ MCX 8000 tutorial. The Denon DJ MCX8000 is the world's first DJ controller that can run both as a standalone with engine USB playback and as an advanced Serato controller simultaneously. With access to the revolutionary Engine 1.5 software, DJs can now perform without the necessity of a computer direct from USB sticks only. It has 16 multi-performance pads, touch capacitive jog wheels and a four channel multi input mixer which is DVS ready too. Add renowned Denon DJ sound quality, rugged metal construction and a flexible future ready audio and data connectivity and DJs are now more ready for the future than ever. Ok, let's first look at importing your iTunes library and those all important playlists into Engine. With Engine 1.5 launched, Click on the iTunes tab to scan your full library of songs. iTunes playlists are easily imported into Engine by control or right clicking on a playlist and choosing import. Engine will automatically reanalyze your files to ensure BPM accuracy. To add your hard drive's music files to the Engine library, simply drag a folder or file into the main window. By right clicking on the Engine library, you can then create and name playlists and crates to organize your music into different categories. Just drag and drop to populate. For those dynamic DJ performances, you can create hot cues easily too with an Engine 1.5. Drag a track into the top playback window, and you can add hot cues whilst the track is playing. Or from paused, search through the full length waveform, find your hot cue point and add one in. Shift click on a hot cue to remove it. If you've imported using Serato, your hot cues will be intact. Just a note however, you can still play your music files from a USB drive without using Engine software. Though using Engine does make organization much easier. If you are already a Serato DJ user, the music import process is similar. Launch Serato DJ and simply drag your files direct from the Serato application across to Engine. Your Serato cue points will be imported as well. To get your files and crates onto a USB stick and ready for the MCX8000, insert it into your computer and Engine will automatically create the Engine Target Root folder. Then simply drag the newly added crates and playlists to this folder and once copied across, eject the drive. Just to add, always use the best quality, fastest read and write USB drives you can and format them preferably in FAT32. Once you plug your USB stick in, you'll have access to the engine software and you can operate standalone without a computer. Rotating and clicking the select load dial, you can navigate through your root music folders or select all, click to access and scroll by track attributes such as genre, BPM, musical key or artist, etc. Once a track is loaded, you can view zoomed in or out. You'll see the hot cues are already loaded onto the pads by default. A great way to search alphabetically through your track titles is to hold the shift button, then rotate the select encoder. By holding down shift, repeatedly pressing view, the third column can be changed to show BPM, track key or time duration. If you want to play a selection based on BPM or tempo range, then press and hold view to access engine's utility screen. Scroll down to filter BPM range, click select and choose from a range of plus three, plus five or plus 10. Go to view, all and BPM. You'll see that tracks are now accessible by a set tempo range. To help you monitor track history, play tracks are shown in blue with the currently active track shown in green. The MCX 8000's look and operation can be customized too in global settings. For example, changing the RGB screen's illumination level and selecting single LED on or off mode for the jog wheels. Within Engine, you can use the needle drop feature to scan quickly through the track's timeline. Also, you have access to Engine's three effects, 
echo, phaser and noise, with adjustable beat timings to lock to track BPM. These engine effects operate for any other line or phono inputs as well. Plus the effects are post fade. Here's a couple more tips to help you. To quickly reset the effects timing to a one beat setting, just click the beats encoder, and to get that handy instant doubles function, quickly push the select encoder twice. Both of these functions work in engine and serato. To switch between engine and Serato operation, you simply flick channel 1 and 2 selector switch to PC for Serato or the engine logo for standalone operation. Let's take a look at engine and the MCX8000's performance pads and loop operations in standalone mode. The 8 pads per channel default to hot cue mode on track load. This way, you're always ready to jump to where you want for dynamic performances. In roll mode, which syncs to your current tempo, you can cut slices up at different beat increments using the four top pads. Plus, using the lower pad row, you can beat jump backwards and forwards, again at different time intervals. Use the inner pads to go up or down in beat increments, and use the outer pads to commit to the beat jump like this. The popular slicer, again sync match to your current track tempo, is also available in engine standalone mode. The top four pads slice the one bar beat into its consecutive parts. Pad one is the first beat of the bar auto looped, pad two is the second beat of the bar auto looped, and so on. The MCX8000's auto loop function is easy to operate and it's great for those on the fly, beat and musical capture moments. While a track is playing, you can set your auto loop range from 1 32nd of a beat right through to 32 beats. Press the half and double buttons to select your beat range and then just have fun. <laughs> Manual looping is also an option. Any minor adjustments can easily be made without interrupting your live set. Pressing and hold shift, hit the loop in button to get your loop entry point, then hit loop out to get to your end point. You can easily trim the in and out loop points by holding shift, tapping loop in, then rotating the jog wheel to fine tune. Press loop in again to commit, Repeat this method for the loop endpoint, this time pressing loop out to commit. The MCX8000 is the world's first Serato controller to offer key performance pad mode direct from the unit. With the optional Serato Pitch and Time expansion pack installed, this offers a new and creative way to entertain your audience. Let's check this out. To change which hot cue to manipulate, press shift and choose one of the hot cue pads. Serato DJ's effects are of course an expressive and comprehensive set of tools for DJs. The MCX8000 easily accesses and controls these effects for you. Press and hold shift to fast scroll through all your Serato DJ effects, change tempo based LFOs and delay times with the beats encoder, and again these effects are post fade functional. Of course, all other Serato DJ performance functionality, such as loops, roll, slicer, flip, sampler and Serato video mixing are fully controlled by the MCX8000's advanced hardware. Okay, so let's take a look at some more of the 8000's tactile performance features. 
The highly responsive touch capacitive jog wheels of course can be put into two standard performance modes. Select the vinyl button to on to get the platters to behave in legacy vinyl mode or press again to move to a pitch bend oriented operation. The pitch sliders behave as expected to alter the tempo of your tracks but you can also adjust the pitch range. Hold the shift key and use the plus or minus range buttons to access the plus 8, plus 10, plus 16, plus 50, right up to plus 100% ranges. A handy way to tease any tempo changes when actually in the mix is to press the pitch bend buttons. The 8000's key lock can hold a track's musical key in place, even if you adjust the speed of your track. When DJing in Serato mode and using the optional pitch and time plugin, pressing shift and tapping the key lock button will instantly match the corresponding deck's key with the key of the opposite deck. In engine 1.5 operation, the real fun experience of being a DJ in the mix is brought to focus. Use of the sync feature places both playing tracks instantly into the same BPM, but the DJ is left to organically perform and mix on the beat. Other useful features on the MCX8000 are engaging slip mode, sensor to remove any profanities, and one of my favourites, pressing shift and reverse to make the track play backwards perfectly in time. In engine standalone mode, the needle drop feature can be accessed when the track is paused, or if playing by resting your hand on the jog wheel. Any DJ will be instantly at home with the layout and the features of the 8000's 4-channel mixer. You have full kill EQs available, a low pass and high pass filter control knob, independent gain control, and switchable crossfader assignment too. You can assign your effects banks easily, switch between PC and Serato input, line input, and on channels one and two, switch into engine USB mode. This flexibility is great for seamless DJ handovers. Looking at the left hand side of the mixer, your two microphone channels are available both with EQ, level and echo control. And also a very useful talk over feature that automatically dips the music level when the DJ is speaking. Looking at the front of the unit, the crossfader has an adjustable performance curve from an extreme, moderate to very slow contour. This crossfader housing is also mini innofader compatible with easy and quick installation for scratch oriented DJs. The front panel also provides your headphone connections with the standard quarter inch jack plus a handy mini jack input too. Checking out the right hand panel of the mixer section located on the very handy top panel as opposed to the front, you'll find your headphone level and split cue controls. Independent volume control of Serato DJ's SP6 sampler function is here too. The 8000 features balanced XLRs for the booth outputs. So here's your EQ flexibility with low and high EQ plus level control too. And let's not forget that legendary Denon DJ sound quality controlled here with your master out level. Another fantastic feature of the MCX8000 is that it's Serato DVS ready. Simply connect your turntable or control CD inputs to channels three and four. Select line level input for CD, Phono for vinyl, and you're good to go with turntablist style control at your fingertips. The MCX8000 offers future ready advanced audio and data connectivity for today's DJ. Let's take a look at the rear panel. The USB port is your computer connection to Serato DJ. Next to that is a handy USB hub which talks to your PC, connecting, for example, an additional hard drive. The MCX8000 offers XLR balanced booth outputs and they sit next to the main balanced outs for your master signal. You can switch the unit's audio output to either mono or stereo. Your phono connections next are the unbalanced outputs, the line 1 and 2 inputs and the line 3 and 4 phono or line inputs to connect vinyl turntables, CD players and iPods etc. The line 3 and 4 inputs also enable the MCX8000's DVS connection. And here, the two microphone connections finish off the audio connectivity for the MCX8000's rear panel. Denon DJ's new Stage Link connection is a groundbreaking integrated protocol. It controls a DJ's lighting rig, video, pyrotechnics, and more. Forthcoming software will allow DJs to prepare their lighting and video show as easily as they prepare their music files. 
Here's why one of the world's best lighting and video engineers chose Denon DJ to partner with for this exciting protocol. We had Denon come to us and they were very excited to do things and to think out of the box and bring people more functionality. They want to give the same accessibility to people in the small bars and clubs and, and bigger venues than to the big DJs. And I think that's a beautiful thing and that's why we're so excited to do this. Thanks for joining us for this MCX 8000 tutorial. We hope you've enjoyed it and we wish you a creative journey ahead with Denon DJ.